Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 4 4. So the statement is determine the displacement of B with respect to C of the composite shaft as in problem 4 3. So this is a composite shaft, this is aluminium portion, this is copper portion, this is steel. The areas are given respectively clear and the loading is also shown. So you have to find you have to find the displacement of B with respect to C. So del B slash C. So for finding uh, displacement clear we have formula that displacement is equal to P into L divided by A into E. So we do not know P for the portion BC. So therefore we will have to cut it at this section. So I will draw the free body diagram for this portion. So this is collar this is shaft AB and the load at the end of shaft AB is 2 kips clear so at this end one load is 3.50 kips and other end the same load is applied 3.50 kips and when you cut it over here so there will be a load that is equal to PBC now we do not know PBC so for that again you have to see that this is 3.50 and this is 3.50 so total 7 kips in this direction and in order to keep it in equilibrium we need a 7 kips in this direction Clear. So 2 is already there. So this P should be equal to 5 kip. But direction will not be in this. It will be in this direction. So it will again equal to minus 7 kips. Now at this condition this shaft is in its equilibrium. So we have P B C which is equal to 5 kips. And that is equal to uh, in this direction that will be negative. Now we will apply uh, the equation that delta BC or displacement of B with respect to C is equal to PBC into length of BC divided by area of BC into E of this BC and that will be equal to for copper. So E copper. Now PBC is equal to minus 5 because this is in negative direction so it will be minus 5 into length of BC is 12 inch so 12 divided by area of BC is equal to 0 0.12 in square inch and E of copper is equal to since this portion is copper so we will take E as 18 into 10 raised to power minus 3. So displacement of point B with respect to C comes out to be minus 0.0278 inch. Now what does this minus sign shows? So this minus sign shows that negative sign shows that B moves, point B moves towards and C. So this point B due to this type of loading this point B moves toward point C. This is a very easy problem so if you have clear understanding about problem 4-3 you can also solve this uh, problem as well. Thank you for watching.